This is Cadillac Unscripted on 107.9 CDY. We are here on a Saturday morning. Uh, it's sponsored by Independent Bank. My co-host is Katie Huckle. And we, uh, how in the almost four years that we have been doing this show, Katie, have we not had Ann Bush on with us? The champion for children herself. That's right. I'm, I'm shocked. Like, I was just getting her mic'd up or handing her her mic, and I thought, we haven't done this with Ann Bush we before? We have not. <laughs> Well, shame on us. So, so shame so on us. We've ta- we're taking care of it this morning. That's right. That's yeah. right. Welcome, Anne. Thank you. And uh, Laurel and Hardy, I understand. Yeah, tell, who, tell us about who you know you Hardy. With you? Well, I have Mel Robinson, and we are doing the Wistinghausen Warrior 5K race. I know a mouthful, isn't it? Yes, that's awesome. Tell it. Tell us about your race. Well, first of all, Mel, I'm going to let you talk about how Jordan came up with the idea, and then go from there. Sure. So my son, Jordan, is friends with Lawson Wistenhausen. And a um, few months ago, well, he was actually diagnosed in the spring with Ewing sarcoma. And a few months ago, my son came to me and said he wanted to do something to help Lawson. And we kind of brainstormed a little bit about what we could do. And Lawson loves to run. He runs cross country. He runs track. He just likes to run. So Jordan and I talked, and we decided to do a 5K for Lawson. And who else would you ask to help with a 5K but Ann Bush? Absolutely. (laughs) How old is How old is Lawson? Lawson is 14. 14. And your son is how old? My son turned 14 today, actually. Oh, happy birthday! So uh, obviously, this is a kid with a with a heart to serve. Very much so. Okay. That's great. So he wanted. He probably felt helpless. This is his friend, right? And, and came to mom and said, "Mom, what can we do?" And exactly. looked to you for some leadership. And yes. then you looked to a really strong leader. And, exactly. And, and here we are today. Right. When's the race? The race is uh, December sixteenth. Okay. At nine a.m. Mm-hmm. at the Saint Anne's School facility. Okay. Um, it starts at Saint Anne's and kind of goes around the neighborhood. I'm not exactly sure of the route, but I will let Ann talk about that. Right. So we, we picked Santa Ann's school because of the fact that uh, we, we have it open to us. And so that way, if the weather's bad or whatever, we can go inside, get our shirts, um, warm up afterwards, do awards and everything like that. And we have a route already developed back there. Um, and it really is. It just runs behind, no pun intended on that, but runs 13, 14th Street, 15th, Greyhack, that, that area. Sure. And then ends up in the beginning of the or in the front of the church area. Okay, so is there a fundraising goal? What What's your entry fee? And then if the world was perfect, how much money would you raise? Well, the, the entry fee is $25. Okay. It's just a flat, even if you're um, late with that, it's still a $25. Sometimes they have fluctuating, but we just went with $25. Uh, that includes a shirt, and we're ordering those today. They're, they're really neat. Mm-hmm. Our, our motto is no one runs alone. And the shirts really depict... No one running alone. It, it's r- really nice. They did creative embroidery, did them, and did a really nice job with them. Oh, I uh, love those girls. They're yes, just wonderful. And they've really put in a lot um, for the race. They they do a lot for the community in general. Yes. And we we have sponsors that will go on the back of the shirts. We'll even on the race route. We'll have sponsors. And so as far as a, a goal, uh, we actually were talking about the the goal that Mel had, and uh, we kind of had a heartwarming moment today. Tell, tell us about the goal, Mel. Um, so my personal goal was to raise $10,000 for the family. Whoa. Okay. And I do believe we hit that last night. No wow. kidding? So wow. anything above and beyond would be amazing. That's incredible, Mel. Yes. For I, mean, a, I mean, for a first-year event. Right. right. For a first-time try, right? right? And a run. I mean, runs are they are not easy to make money on runs. No. We're also selling T-shirts and sweatshirts. Okay. And that's where a lot of our funding came from um we have t-shirts that are 15 dollars and sweatshirts are 30. Mm-hmm. and, and so, you're wearing a sweatshirt right now that I says am. no one runs alone yes Ooh. is that one of them that's this is the sweatshirt yes. i'm gonna buy one absolutely okay. and you know when we think about it no one should run alone i mean exactly. i know we a lot of us do right, right? don't we <laughs> Anne? don't we and yes, <laughs> but do. We, and I. yeah we do yeah but um what a what a wonderful concept um who came up with that 
kind of all of us together yeah, just just was... talking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and your son is also thinking i don't want him to do, go through this alone exactly yes oh that's so awesome so um tell me a little bit about your son i want to know um to be that age and be that compassionate where does that come from he is just a real kind-hearted um boy he's a twin so okay so I have Jordan and Jackson, and then Lawson is also a twin. So oh, sure. There's Lawson and his sister, Scotland. So the four of them have really just hung out together since probably about first or second grade. And there's always together. And the Wistenhausen family is just a helping family. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're always doing and giving. Uh, Sandy is a teacher at Mac Trail, and she is always the one that's chaperoning mm-hmm. and just taking care of all the kids. And so I think when we realized that their family was going to need help, mm-hmm. Jordan stepped up and said, we have to help them. This is, this is a family that always helps, and now we need to help them. Wow. Not every 14-year-old will have that kind of a heart. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> really. I it mean, is. Yeah. Boy, and what a call to action. I'm sure um, all of the classmates, too. Are all about this you know it takes someone to lead right and then everyone's like okay got it and right we'll, we'll jump in i mean to have already raised your what two weeks out to have right. already raised yeah ten thousand dollars and you're gonna go well above that I especially so. because the way you guys design this to not be charging a higher fee if you jump in at the last minute right and stuff that's that, that's just saying everybody's welcome you exactly know? Mm-hmm. how long has this idea been cooking <laughs> and? Well, I always like to wait till last minute. Uh, that kind of me. And so I think Mel came, we sat down and talked in end of October. This is what I'm thinking. And I'm like, oh, well, we've got this under control. Uh, and so I'm glad we waited till the 16th. I know there's a lot going on mm-hmm. with activities and everything, but it gave us enough time. It, sometimes if you have too much time. Right. You are like, Overthink oh, I'm, right, and complacent exactly. Too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and you've got a background with festivals and events. Right, absolutely. And, well, that's one of the things is Lawson, as she said, he's a runner. He was on my cross-country team. He's on the track team. And same as Jackson, um, or excuse me, Jordan and uh, Scotty, they're both on the, on the team, too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we just, I don't know, we, it just all came together. What right. kind of event would they want to be part of? And and he's going through a lot right now. He's has chemo, um, he's gonna ha- has radiation, he's down at DeVos, and it's an every single day. Um, and so probably at times you, you do feel alone. And mm-hmm. he, even when, like even the fall when we had cross country meets, He's there when he could be, and he's helping clean up like he always does. He's there cheering everybody mm-hmm. on. and So important. Right. Mm-hmm. For him it, to feel that support of the team. Right. And to go back to what he knows, isn't it? For sure. And so when a young man comes to you with a request like that, you figure, okay, we got to figure something out. Well, right? and it actually, he started... And we had fun runs for our cross country team. The and so what we did was, uh, he was kind of tossing around ideas, and we threw it out there on remind. We said, "Is there any idea?" So when Jordan had that, he just I don't know. It, it, it you already said it. It's great when somebody cares about someone else, especially at a young age. Mm-hmm. Where'd they learn that from? From their parents, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and to know that they could have that support and knew where to find other people with the same passion, mm-hmm. which is, is amazing. And I'm glad that they had that so early in life, caring about others, especially, you know, it's Christmas time. Right. You know, sometimes you, and you're a middle schooler and you get a little bit me focused. And to, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're it's making just, a list. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's just, I, I just think it's wonderful and it's very heartwarming. And our middle school um, at St. Anne's School, they're jumped in. That's going to be their their advent project is to be part of it they're also doing other things but they they saw a need that some of them i don't even think they know lawson but it it could happen to one of their friends and Mm -hmm. they they just really believe in community Mm -hmm. what can we as community because our listeners are going to want to know how to help is there a website is there a place that people can go to mel um, to make a donation 
So all the information is at Wistenhausen Warriors on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, but how do we spell Wistenhausen? <laughs> W-I-S-T-I-N-G-H-A-U-S-E-N. Okay. Wistenhausen Warriors on Facebook. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll have some folks step up to the plate. And if and if someone wants to run the race, what's the best way to enter? Same same thing. Okay. On, on that Facebook page, there is a pinned post, which means it's at the top, to order a T-shirt or a sweatshirt or to enter the race. Mm -hmm. they're, they're right at the very top of the page. Mm -hmm. And there is a, obviously there's that way to support even if you aren't a runner. Absolutely. What I was thinking of, I have friends that are like, I will do anything, but don't make me run. So <laughs> if you're out there thinking that, just write a check. We're good with that. Right. And we have a lot of people signed up to walk the yes. course. Mm -hmm. Walkers are welcome. Well, what is, yes, what we is the distance? That. Have you figured out what the distance is from start to finish? Oh, yeah, I mean, you're going, you're going through the back neighborhoods behind St. Anne's. So that's not a, uh, not a heavily traveled area. It's a residential area. So have you, you figured I, it out? I or? personally... Uh, been on that route a few times and trying to make sure because when you're mm -hmm. a runner mm -hmm. it's like you don't want it too short and you don't want it too long the mm -hmm. porridge has to be just right yeah. so it's a it's a, <laughs> a 3.1 and there's there are no it's it's very flat it, oh, there is there. no there are no hills right mm -hmm. and what i will tell people is if you can run a mile you can run 3.1 miles and even if you start running and you walk it and you know it's it's just that camaraderie that you get with running and, yes and it's really neat we've had other races there and just people in the neighborhood are cheering you on uh -huh. and and everything and what they're thinking is i'm so glad i don't i'm not doing this right now i'm so glad i'm it's standing like it's snowy <laughs> or yeah, freezing cold my cocoa yeah. and well this person yeah. and, and when when you have an event like this in december you don't you don't know what the weather's going to be like so mm -hmm. did, were you a little bit concerned about you know uh, doing something in the middle of the december or was it like uh, 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 we're just gonna run with this and see what happens mm -hmm. yes that's that's exactly <laughs> we, we keep saying if you build it they will run you okay know. Oh, there you go yeah. Love it. yeah it's so true so you wait ladies. set the course <laughs> there yes yeah, at the course yeah i bet you've got people in jingle bells and reindeer we're hoping handlers. we're actually <laughs> you know I'm, that makes i'm it sure fun. their coach will be wearing something <laughs> interesting <laughs> you never know <laughs> you know and i think it's just wonderful um, as you've coached for all these years that you're still running because that shows the kids this is a lifelong sport and that's always anytime I, I coach and everything I want the kids to enjoy it so they do it later on in life mm -hmm. or share that enthusiasm being a coach was a different sport or whatever later on in life you know as they get older right you know it's the one thing rich that anywhere you are in the world you may not have your lacrosse stick and you might not have the rest of the basketball team with you um or volleyball with you and but you can always go for a run all you need is your shoes right. isn't it a absolutely mm -hmm. and it's also um an inexpensive sport you know we look at some i've i've had friends that have said, oh man, if I have to outfit my kid for X and I'm not going to name any of them because they're all my friends. Um, but it's, it's in getting ready for a run, running in a race and running cross country and track. It's inexpensive. It's something everybody can afford to do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, shoe wise, it's whatever you feel comfortable in. I, mm -hmm. I never tell anybody, oh, get this brand because it's totally up to your feet and, mm -hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so we talked about a fundraising goal, which you've already hit, which is amazing. I didn't see that one coming. In a perfect world, how many runners would you have? Oh, we even have that answer for you. Oh, Go ahead, do. Mel. <laughs> so when I started this, um, I thought realistically we'd have 40, 45 runners. Um, deep down, I was hoping for 100 that's just kind of what I wanted, and um, we hit 115 today. No way. So, so we have that. Um, and you've got two weeks left to add more. And we have two weeks left, so now I'm upping our goal. Oh, I, mean, I bet, you've got two, I bet the, you're going to have 200 runners. I hope so. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, I did talk to Lawson's mom. He's She's not sure he'll be home that weekend, but there is a chance he could be there, and I would love mm -hmm. for him to see everyone out there Right. in his race shirt, knowing that he's supported. Yes, huge. I hope you guys take a whole bunch of pictures, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, this is really, you know, we're in a season of hope. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, how much uh, of your background uh, as, as a longtime educator in the Cadillac Area Public Schools District and now at St. Anne's, 
how how much did this help you in terms of recruiting because you've been running for so long did you was it easy to find people I, I think anytime you run a race, you, you make those connections. And I think in life in general, it's all about connections. And if you don't know the answer, being willing to ask other people for help. And and I know how to time a race, but the, the fire department union, um, a fireman union, I, I wanna say that correctly, they came to us and they're actually um, going to be timing the race for us. So mm -hmm. Dale Hall, um, Anthony Wolf, and some other um, firemen are coming to time the race. So that's that's huge. Um, and, and I just, like I said, I think it's all about connections and asking for help when you need to. Mm -hmm. But people, they they just when it's they Cadillac. see a cause, it right? Is when Cadillac. when, it when, is. You, when they see a cause, they just really um, jump in, and especially when it comes down to a, a kid. And a lot of, and I'm sure both of you, your children had Sandy for a teacher, and so for health class, and and people. You know, liked her and just mm -hmm. know that she is the first one there to volunteer or donate money or donate time, whatever it might be. And mm -hmm. so, all, all basically, what you're saying is all the factors uh, mm -hmm. that it came together to exist to make this successful, pretty much from the beginning. Yes, it it just falls in place. Mm -hmm. There's a vision, and we just had faith that it would it would happen, and and it did. That's and awesome. Incredible. And, it, and the story of these two sets of twins, it just gives me the chills. You know, a bond. Yes. This is, this is a lifetime bond with these kids. Yep. It is incredible. Oh, ladies, hats off. I, um, gosh, if, if I wasn't going to be out of town, I'd throw my hat in the ring and, and uh, you know, beat Ann. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Runners aren't competitive, Rich. How, how long have, well, Ann, how long have you been running? I started in college okay. um, when I was in you high school. You don't have to give us a year if you don't want <laughs> no, to. No, I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> you had to have a, like a phys ed class at Central, and I chose to do running. So I think I was about 22, 23, when okay. I, probably 23 when I started my first official race, and that was in Matton. And oh, I ran, awesome. Yeah, there's a Matton had a 5K there. So... And I'm 56 now, so what we're talking 30 mm -hmm. some years mm -hmm. running. And I was only out, I think, one year, or maybe a little bit, maybe two, if that total, because um, I blew my Achilles. But other than that, oh boy. Yeah, that would be a little hard to hobble on that. But other yeah. than that, I just, I like the endorphins. I love the camaraderie. I've met a lot of friends through through running and, and coaching. The, that's immeasurable what, what you get from coaching. Mm -hmm. It really is. Talk about what you get from coaching. I mean, you must have kids come back to you years later. And, and you, that, that's the best part about teaching to me in the 11 years that I've been at the CTC is to have those kids come back to you and say, you were an inspiration to me. I, I just, I think kids don't realize what they add to our lives as adults. Absolutely. Um, I always tell kids, I learned from you just like you learn from me. And when you see them overcome obstacles or achieve a goal or just become better people, work together as a team, that's really what it is about in, in coaching is those kind of things, is watching them grow individually. And also it's really neat. I know like with Susie and other older runners and I'm not talking older age wise I'm talking about like who graduated they'll come back and they'll mm -hmm. be cheering them on at mm -hmm. races and that really meant a lot when they had their mentors and peers you know cheering them on and way to go and and all of that kids don't realize the the impact they have on lives and and I always want to be that individual who sets a good example for them somebody that they can rely on and know that I'll, I'll be there for them. Mm -hmm. It's it's wonderful, a uh, cold, blustery winter night when I'm coming home from my office. I see this bobbing stocking cap 
<laughs> and these tights with shorts over the tights. This isn't someone who's looking up to impress. Okay, this is this is someone who's looking to get a good run in. I and have then, passed that same person. I'm telling you, I lay on the, the horn. I rolled out my window. I'm like, yes, you know, just because she's unstoppable. <laughs> and that's that's a good example too. Listen, it's not always going to be you know rainbows and unicorns when you're out there if you're an all weather runner. Right. And and I think winter runs in particular are my favorite just because listen you're, it's, it's not easy right it, but it feels it, so good when it, you're done it does <laughs> yeah especially in in cadillac where i do a lot of the running is because of the fact of lights mm -hmm. and so it's you know the snow's kind of falling and in everything it's so. picturesque yeah, yeah for but, sure but for your students i mean all your students know that you're out there you know for them to um, your students and, and the, the runners that you coach, for them to see coach out there inspires them and holds them accountable. It's like, okay, wait a minute. If she can do it, <laughs> right. I can. Good point. <laughs> it is. It's leading by example. Mm -hmm. yeah, really. So what we should do right now, because yeah. I know you're on a time crunch, Ann, okay. is uh, uh, swing back around to the who, what, where, when, yep. and why of yep. this race. Not race, but run. It's a run. Yeah. It's a run. <laughs> so it's a Wistenhausen Warrior 5K. It is Saturday, December 16th at 9 a.m. at St. Anne's School in Cadillac, Michigan. That's, that's the start and end point. That is the start and the end okay. point, both, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's $25 to sign up. You can buy T-shirts for $15, sweatshirts for $30, and all of that information is on Wistenhausen Warriors' Facebook page. You can also make a big, fat donation. And you could. Yes. And, and the, uh, the T-shirts and the uh, sweatshirts are available, too. Yes. 115 runners at this point. We're shooting for 200, right? Absolutely. All right. And she's already raised $10,000. Yes. That's, that is fantastic. Incredible. Yeah. That's Thank wonderful. Give our best to the family. I, we will. Thank you. All right. Uh, Wistinghausen Warriors, look it up. And uh, Ann Bush and... Um, Mel. Mel, thank you very much. Absolutely. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas. Thanks for having us. Cadillac Unscripted is sponsored by Independent Bank. Next week, more local chat here on 107.9.